Welcome back. Somebody recently commented on a video I made. It was the one uh, about why I don't want to buy an SDR radio. They said they were surprised, but pleased that I'd released that video because they were under the impression I was an influencer. Well, maybe I'm someone who wants to inspire you, but an influencer. When people use the word influencer, what they usually mean is someone whose job or maybe a side hustle is to promote, you know, someone else's product for money or some kind of advantage. I'm not criticising that, by the way. It's what it is. I need to be absolutely straight with you. This is not what this channel is built around. It might be called DX Commander, right? But it's more about my own radio journey than my company, really. If you actually look at what I spend my time doing here on YouTube, most of it has nothing to do with promoting anything. It's building stuff, fixing things, trying ideas, watching them fail, and coming up with new things to tinker with. Almost always something to do with antennas or the chain that starts in the shack and the radio and ends up with the antenna. Now, in fairness, I do build my own t antennas to show folks how to do it, and people expect that. They need to see how something is actually made. And frankly, if I'm building one anyway, I might as well film it. But in terms of the percentage of the content here, that's, I don't know, maybe less than 5%, probably less. A lot of the projects I do on the channel are well, kind of quite slow, really, sometimes pretty messy. And sometimes I review what I've done and then I change it. For instance, the extra foundation I put in for the winch system. So the projects can take weeks, sometimes months. They don't always end uh, very neatly and they don't always arrive at a clear answer. I mean, to be honest, they mostly start <laughs> with a hole in the ground and end with me trying to blow something up. You know, I like to sort of go QRO. Great fun. So if this channel were about influence, I'd I'd be doing a very poor job of it. So let's recap what is actually on this channel. We've got the Ham Radio Foundation training course, basic radio concepts, antenna modeling, modeling tutorials, a lot of how-to stuff, videos that don't sell anything at all. There are long live streams where a lot happens very slowly, or is that very little happens quite quickly? I do contesting videos and I focus on processes, N1MM, voice keying, what works, more than the results, how to prepare, how to operate, how to make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes because I like to think I am fairly bold and bold sometimes leads to breaking something. And also because I want to show you how I recover from that and that might inspire you. And there's a fair amount of fun too, some comedy, some nonsense, some videos that exist purely because radio, is, which is my hobby, is supposed to be enjoyable. Now, if you take a step back and look at the channel over, say, the last 12 months, what you actually see, therefore, is education, construction, experimentation and curiosity. Yeah, a lot of curiosity. I mean, sure. Sometimes there's a DX Commander announcement, and that, that's fair. I'm not pretending otherwise. Skip it if you want to. But those videos are kind of punctuation marks. They're not the whole chapter. An influencer typically starts with a product and builds a story around it. I usually start with a problem or an opportunity and work up a solution. Sometimes a product appears. Sometimes it doesn't. More often than not, there's no commercial upside at all. The thing just needed doing, or I wanted to see if it would work, or I wanted to understand why it didn't. And if it's not a DX Commander product, I have to buy it. Patch leads, coax, concrete, radios, amplifiers, switches, all at the same price as you pay for. Now, full disclaimer, I try and get a discount. I mean, wouldn't you? And sometimes I do, but often I don't. But I always tell you, for instance, Tim Duffy from DX Engineering sent me the content Comtech Foursquare controller. Now, I think he just wanted to torture me because I had no idea the Foursquare was going to be so blooming complicated. And then when I do cock up, I learn, and frankly, so do you too. So like when I split the rotator, doing that tef test lift on the, on the mast last year, or I attempted the repair on the Pocket 2, which actually works. 
Uh, I attempted the <laughs> fitting a modern PL259. I was advised on the comments, use some fl flux, and I have to say that has made the whole world a difference. And then there's this video, you know, the mask, probably the most complicated homebrew mask system I've seen. Now, that actually took nearly 12 months from end to end. We're still not finished. I'm going to put another six beaters on top of it again, make a three-element Yagi. There's no reason to do it fast. There's no reason to do it if your goal is to influence. But if your goal is, and my goal, is having fun, and your goal is watching me dig holes and fix stuff, then it makes perfect sense. So, no, this channel is not about persuading people to buy things. It's about showing the process, the thinking, the decisions, the mistakes. So I do things. I repair things. I break things very publicly. Whoa, look at that block of ice. So that other people feel they can have a go too. And sometimes I say at the end of the video that I hope I have inspired you, right? And I often say that. This is mostly about inspiration. If someone out there builds something, fixes something, or tries radio in a way they wouldn't have otherwise, because I gave them that spark, then the video's done the job. And I'm pretty sure if you read some of the comments down here, some folks will come out the woodwork and tell us just that, I hope. I'm not trying to influence behavior. What I'm trying to do is lower the fear of having a go. And as always, enjoy your radio. <laughs> Bye for now.